Well, you know, one of the one of the definitions in the dictionary says poor white trash. And I'm telling you the truth. I've known many, many crackers. And most of them that I've known has been poor and white, but there have been very darn few that's been trash. Mm -hmm. See, my wife's from a small town in Florida called Arcadia. So every year we would travel down to visit the in-laws. And I'd look out at that vast prairie and I'd say to her, what's out there? She'd laugh and say, cowboys? There's real cowboys out there. And I'd say, no, can't be. This is Florida. Well, 30 years went by, and it was time to retire and move down to the beautiful state that I had grown to love so well. And the first thing I wanted to do was take some pictures and make some paintings of those wonderful cowboys. It never occurred to me that four and a half years later, I'd have over 120 hours of filmed footage and more than 50 original photographs and paintings. Furthermore, I learned things that I had never even imagined. The first thing was that a hundred years before there were ever cowboys in the West, there were the Cracker Cowboys of Florida. And they live to this day. Well, he works from the dawn to the dusk's setting sun with his dogs and his horse and his gun. So who are these cowboys? Where did they come from and why are they there? What the heck are they doing? Riding hard until he is done. Well, he sits all alone on the prairie with the blue sky like heaven above. Though he'll never get rich, well, he's got all he needs. And he knows how God's world is run. So I spent time with the cowboys, at work and at play. And I came to realize there's a problem facing the cowboys of Florida that's international in scope. It's the loss of our ranch land, our farmland, and our wilderness to encroaching development. It's a problem we have to address. He's the Florida Cowboy Working real hard with his hands Palm meadows, palm trees And a warm Florida breeze He's part of the sweet meadow land The idea of being a cowboy is kind of a, it begins as a fantasy and for a lot of people it um, it's something they, they think of when they're kids and it's fictional. It's something they read about like cowboys and Indians. But for most of the people who are true cowboys, it's a way of life. It's a way you treat people. It's a way that you are treated. There's unspoken rules. You, you treat people with a, just a certain respect that you demand. We love what we do. We love the people we hang around because it's one thing to be in a, an organization or be around a group of people that you work with, but it's another thing to have a relationship with people. And with the, the cow hunters and the cow men and cow women of, uh, of Central Florida, uh, we develop relationships. Last year I ran in about 60 professional rodeos in the um, Professional Rodeo Cowboy Association, the PRCA and the WPRA. That's the organization that you see at the National Finals Rodeo, that sort of thing. So I ran in about 60 rodeos last year. I was the young, the first time I went out, I was, it was way before I went to grade school. I must have been three or four, you know, just, just a top, top, just a young child. My family has been in the cattle business, working cattle for about four generations now. And uh, we've all liked it. We don't get rich at it, but we enjoy the work. And so I just fell in the footsteps of everybody else. 
My family's been in Florida since the 1830s, uh, in this country since 1635. Well, my dad put me on the first horse when I was six months old, and uh, I've been riding horses ever since. Well, I was 92 the last time they took the count. And uh, I recommend anybody being a cowboy because most all the women like cowboys. And why would that be? You know, I just think we're more gentlemen than most of these people out there, and just, you run into a cowboy, he'll just nice and buy you a drink and be friendly. Most of these guys just, they don't have very good morals to them. You think cowboys have good morals? Yes, sir. Yeah. Would you want your daughter to marry a cowboy? Yes, sir. I'd love for my daughter to marry a cowboy. Why? Because I'm a cowboy and I believe they're good people. This is my land. How beautiful she lies. Her face is bathed in colors of dawn. I drink from her lips, embrace the softness of her feet. This beautiful land is where I belong.